Did you know that in the early days of cricket, bowlers would actually roll the ball underarm along the ground like in bowls? Overarm bowling was introduced in the 1860s and completely changed cricket into the more dynamic, modern form that we see today. But some leagues and tournaments were slow to actually outlaw underarm bowling. Cue the underarm bowling incident of 1981. In a one-day international match between Australia and New Zealand, the Aussies had already batted and set a score for the Kiwis to chase. New Zealand were pretty close, though they needed six runs off the last ball just to tie the match, not even to win. In order to pretty much guarantee that Australia would win, their captain, Greg Chappell, told the bowler Trevor Chappell, who was also his brother, to bowl underarm so the batter Brian McKechnie couldn't hit it for a six. This was a move that even the Aussie keeper Rod Marsh was against. Although it was perfectly legal according to the rules of the tournament, it was seen as going against the spirit of cricket. Not long after, the international rules of cricket were amended to ban underarm bowling. This incident is still talked about to this day, and often parodied when Australia and New Zealand play each other. What are your thoughts about the incident that put the final nail in the coffin of underarm bowling in cricket? Let us know in the comments.